the boiler room. Not where I expected to find it. Would you allow me to take it, game? Okay, then. I expected to find it. All right, whatever, I guess. The key to the boiler room. Close it again. There we go. I expected to find it. Hello there. Is that blood? Hi there. Dr. Colden, here you are at last. This patient was again brought up to the psychiatric wing. Why? We following the treatment you prescribed, but the dyskusia persists and he's lost a great deal of weight. We haven't been able to move him. The stress makes him hyperallergic. Sir, I am going to examine you. Do you understand? Inject him with a dose of pentobarbital, intramuscular, so that I can conduct the clinical examination. He bit his lips so much, they're still bleeding. White froth. Evidently because of such drooling. Hmm. Oh. His binds left bloody wounds. Okay. So, doctor, what should we do with this patient? Yeah. I... I... I don't fucking know. I'm not a doctor. Those basement brutes tied him up too tight, and now he's hurt. I keep trying to heal his wounds, but he reopens them. What? Do you have a diploma as a nurse? Excuse me? So take care of this man. <laughs> well, that was incredibly insulting. I mean, shouldn't you shackle this guy if he keeps reopening his fucking wounds? He's bleeding everywhere. Mrs. Sanders? Oh. It's this person. The hell happened to you? I probably already fi- Oh, right, this is Edward. This place draws you in and never lets you go. Interesting. The answers must be hidden in Fuller's office. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. What a pest. It's so unfair. What's so unfair? Elizabeth? You alright? Why is this room in such a state? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. And the water was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. Oh. Do you really need Mrs. Donovan to open a valve? Why not ask the janitor? I can't make these decisions without her approval. Imagine if there were a leak. Anyhow, the boiler room is locked half the time. So every time the water gets shut off, I have to go and endure her reproach until she settled the problem. I see. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. Huh. It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. Alright, that was not an FPS drop, that was just the game being weird again. Fucking, how, what is wrong with this game? What, what keeps doing that? How is this? Oh. Vents for Pierce to crawl through. Like a dictionary, this work of reference, uh, this work references blah 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 blah. 
Oh no! Oh man, I missed out. I missed out. And uh, some fucking files there. Fuck. I have little time for you, Doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do. God damn it. There's another thing for investigation. How does everyone on this island look identical? Let's hope I can go through the administration office. The operating room is never accessible after an operation. There's a thing for me to hide in. Theory, in. This is where we hang the key to the boiler room. This man, Edward Pierce. His file is incomplete. What did Fuller do to him? Dr. Colden, we need you at once in dormitory B. What is the problem? Mr. Evans seems to be having trouble with his IV. Huh? I've done an exam. Deborah is looking There's at two eyes and I've. And the family of Mrs. Harding is asking to see her medical file. I'll never understand why it's so hard to see patients' files around here. Rules are rules. See, with Dr. Fuller, he's in charge. Anyhow, they're still waiting, and I don't think they'll leave until they get what they want. Understood. Anything else? As a matter of fact, yes. A man has been brought up from the basement. I saw him, yes. It's always the same thing. They bring them up, without any explanation, with a multitude of self-inflicted injuries. We take care of the wounds, and then they leave. Huh. Each time, I feel like I'm sending them back to hell. Their oh, you are. Is not our Kinda. Responsibility. You cannot save everybody, Doctor. Fuller. Dr. Colden. Ah, man. Oh, my completionist instincts. Is that Officer Bradley? Ethan. Marie, I... What are you doing here? I'm waiting for my medication, of course. Why? Tell me your symptoms. I have headaches. And I can't sleep. Do you suffer from insomnia? No. Look, I don't want you to laugh at me. Ethan, if you don't trust me, then who? I have nightmares. They keep me awake every night. It seems stupid, I know, but they're terrible. Actually, you're not the only one. No. No one has ever seen the things I see. It's like I'm turning mad. Hmm. So many people have this affliction. It's like an epidemic. Do you think it might be related to Fuller's work? I don't know yet, but I will figure all this out. Everyone in Dark Water is suffering from nightmares. Really? We don't have any medication left. Oh. There's no excuse then. I should let you work. Take care, Ethan. You too, Marie. I don't get why they have us waiting so long. Almost no patients here. Where did my fiance go? I hope those nutcases will stop burdening her with work. Well, hey, psychopath. You're... Go talk to one of your numerous brothers. Or identical twins, I mean. Gentlemen, may I help you? We're waiting on news regarding our mother, Maureen Harding. Finally, people she will look different. She kidney problem, but we haven't heard anything since. I'm sorry. Dr. Fuller is a very busy man. Well, is there anyone else who can tell us what's going on? She's our only family, you know. We can't even see her medical file. Don't worry. I'm aware our institution is not always welcoming. But your mother is in good hands. I'll tend to her myself. And keep you informed at once. Would that suit you? Well, that sure sounds great to us, Doctor. Thank you. But those are just words. So we're not budging. Sure, go ahead. At least I'll know where to find you. 
What is this place? The kitchen! Patients and hospital personnel eat the same food. Watch out for the water, Doctor. No, you blew my leg. I'm not joking. I saw this. Aha! Edgy, she's alone in the bathroom again. And she still says nothing to that old witch, Donovan. Oh, listen to the way you talk, you naughty girl. 